Today we reach the seventh day of Advent. In the knowledge of God, the future is certain and clear. To the people of Israel, the coming of the Messiah was foretold, but also of John the Baptist himself, the great forerunner. Isaiah wrote these words in chapter 40. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and cry to her that her warfare is ended, that her iniquity is pardoned. You might ask for whom Isaiah was yearning. How did Isaiah see so clearly in his mind's eye and in his heart that the future would be better? And that the mercy of God would come to rest upon his people once more. The people of Israel had long been dispersed and were in diaspora. They had been taken prisoner, dragged off into captivity in Babylon, and were now in exile. To all the observant Israelites and Judeans, it was obvious that the pride and self-serving nature of the kings of Judah had brought them low and had brought them under the heel of the Babylonian Empire. God had saved his people before when Moses led them from Egypt into the Promised Land and the prayer was that he would do the same again. Isaiah sets the scene and he prepares the people for the future. First for the coming of the temple and their restoration to Israel. But also we come to see that John the Baptist's ministry is promised in the same way. For just as the people of Israel needed those to lead them back to the true faith. For example, I, um, Ezra and Nehemiah, they would in due time require a new prophet to call them into observance and obedience. So John the Baptist was needed to prepare the way for the, for the Son of God, to make straight in the desert a highway for God himself, so that even the ground itself will become level and the rough places will become as flat as a plain. But while God has saved his people before, releasing just the people of Israel from exile in Egypt and from exile and servitude in Babylon, now a new prophet is required to announce and herald the coming of the Messiah himself, who will bring freedom not just to Israel, but to all God's chosen and elect. Freedom, liberty, life, peace and joy for the whole world. John the Baptist's coming is foretold. And once more the people of Israel turn their eyes and hearts to the city of David, to Bethlehem itself, within the territory of Judah, that southernmost remnant of the people of Israel. David's own tribe, from which the genealogy shows us, came both Mary, mother of our Lord, and Joseph, his foster father. In the Advent prose we hear, Drop down ye heavens from above, and let the sky pour down righteousness. Those great words from Isaiah, Comfort ye, comfort ye my people. My salvation shall not tarry. I have blotted out as a thick cloud thy transgressions. Fear not, for I will save thee. For I am the Lord thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Redeemer. John the Baptist was needed for his day. His coming was foretold. And is needed afresh. And we must hear him afresh in our own hearts and minds as we prepare our hearts, as we prepare the way for the coming of the Redeemer, the Christ child again, at Christmas time. 
God's purposes are wonderful. How can we respond but to say, Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen.